it's Anne here from Anne Makes. Thank you for stopping by and welcome into my studio. For those of you who are new here, uh, please click on the subscribe button below or on the Anne Makes in the corner of your screen and also click for uh, the notification so you'll always be notified when I post a new video. Today I am sharing a DIY with you and I just wanted to kind of give you a look into how it is that I store my steel dies for cutting and embossing and paper crafting and specifically I want to show you how I am storing uh, one brand that I use and I use in my work uh, regularly and of course it is the Cricut brand. Cricut's not sponsoring this video today but uh, since I do work with them and I do have a lot of their products it's important for me to kind of keep that that brand uh, identified as, diff as separate from the other br other brands that I have for my personal use. So this is just a system that I use, but this is definitely a system that you can use for any brand of steel dies that cut and emboss or just cut, whatever. Uh, so don't, don't worry if you're gonna say, well, I don't have any of that brand that she has. Uh, no, this works with all brands of steel dies. And by the way, all brands of steel dies, most of them, I have to say most of them because I'm pretty sure most of them are uh, come back, if not all of them, I would think, I would like to tell you all of them are, but actually I have to say most of them are compatible with the Cricut Cuddle Bug die cutting machine. Any manual or electric die cutting, which is a system of rollers, uh, machine, works with all dies. So uh, if you're interested in seeing how I put these together, stay tuned and you might want to grab a cup of tea or coffee or drink uh you know that's this is one of those videos that you may want to pause and repeat or just you know watch watch over again so i know today i'm drinking uh a, a new to me tea i've been drinking this for about a week and my son too and it's um it's this tea uh, this company sent me their tea from, it's called Teamy, and this one is called Focus, and they noticed I was, I'm a tea drinker, and they said, oh, would you like to try this, and, you know, show it in your videos if, if you like it, and actually, I do like it, um, and so, yeah, I've been drinking this, and I, the one I have here is called Focus Tea, and it's really yummy, um, there has a peppermint flavor to it, and I find that in the afternoon, I get a little down, a little tired, and this is just like, it just perks me right up. So uh, if you're interested in trying this tea, you know, you're under no obligation, I have a discount code for you, and it's also an affiliate link code, and I will include that in the description below in the video. So uh, let's get back to how do I make these storage things <laughs> for my dyes. So the first thing I wanted to show you is the area in my studio where I store my steel dies. So if you've seen uh, my video on my new studio tour 2018 update and how I store my Cricut products, uh, you will have seen a glimpse of this. But for today, we're just gonna focus on the dies. So here, is the cupboard where I store my dies. I have this right underneath my electronic die cutting machines, as well as my Cricut Cuddlebug, which is a manual die cutting machine. So uh, let's open the doors and take a look at how I store and organize my dies. So when I open the doors of the cupboard where I store my dies, on this door, I have adhered some magnetic sheets so I can store some other dies. These are larger dies uh, that don't fit in the packaging that I ha currently have. They, they're they just a little bit more <laughs> um, 
t space consuming, I can say, than some others that I have. So I have put placed them on these magnetic sheets. Now, in the top drawer here is where I store my other die cutting machine by another brand. This is my Sizzix. And I store all the plates. I have some scraps of paper here. All the longer plates are over here. Some extra cables and just a whole bunch of plates to use in my Cricut Cuddle Bug or in my Sizzix. And they are compatible. Now, in the middle drawer is where I store my steel dies. So what we're focusing on today is how I store the thin steel dies, um, more specifically, my Cricut dies. I have chosen this system because it fits in the box that I have in this drawer, and that's how it works. So the green, the green tapes here are to indicate that these are the Cricut brand of dies, uh, the Cricut Cuddlebug brand of dies, just for for my sake, so it makes my job a little easier. I have this system for my other brands of dies that seem to be smaller in general, and I have them on smaller magnetic sheets, fit into these polyvinyl envelopes, and these I did order these online, um, and I will try to leave a link for that in the description below. And these are actually the envelopes from the packaging that the magnetic sheet comes in, and that is what I'm going to show you in just a little bit. So here are several of the Cricut Cuddlebug brand of steel dies that I have. I'm just showing you here that they're very similar. They all have this black magnetic sheet, the plastic pouch. I also use that green uh, washi decorative tape at the top of each sheet just to indicate that these are my Cricut dies. So let's just take a look exactly how I make these. First, I use these adhesive magnet sheets of the Crafter Square brand. I buy these at the Dollar Tree. I'm also using a label maker. This is a, an old label maker that I have. And a roll of green sparkly tape by Cricut. I like to use uh, a paper trimmer or a guillotine type of trimmer and you can also use scissors. I actually I use both when I make these. I'm just showing you that to begin I just trim off the very top of the packaging that the magnet sheet comes in but I leave that kind of glued type of line there. It just acts as the closed end of my envelope. Now, I cut down these mag magnet sheets because in my original system, I had them stored in the box that I have in, uh, and, and from back to front of the box instead of from side to side. And so that fit better into that box. And in order to cut them evenly, I just measured them uh, according to the size of the box and now I'm just cutting off the extra piece that I don't need. I like to use the guillotine, it goes really quick. So since it, it's an adhesive magnet sheet, I peel off the back and I use the cardboard that comes within the packaging to glue the magnet sheet to, to it, which just makes that sheet a little bit sturdier. I try my best to align everything uh, as, as best I can, uh, but of course I always have to trim off a little bit of cardboard peeking out on one side because I'm, I don't do a perfect job. I decorate the top or one side of the magnet board with some green 
sparkly tape. This type of tape is uh, from Cricut. I don't think it's available anymore, but everything that I have that is Cricut brand will have this kind of green sparkly tape uh, just to identify it in my studio. So I just put a piece, I fold it over on the back so it just gives it a nice finished edge. So this is the original packaging that this die came in and I just open it up, take the pieces out and now I'm just showing you that the whole packaging is bigger than what I need. So that's why I, I do this system. So I'm taking the magnet, the dies off I've taken the dies out of the package and I, now I am trimming the package backing itself just so I can keep uh, some important information within the plastic envelope with the dies for future reference. I then take the label maker and I proceed to print out a label that has the name and brand of dye, also its item number, that's something that's important for me to know in my work. And uh, finally, one more thing that I always add is the number of pieces that come in each dye set. So that way it's, it's easier for me to Make sure I put all the pieces back together in the envelope and that way I don't accidentally lose some other dies. So I'm just adhering the label I've just made with my label maker to the magnet sheet. Now I'm placing the dies so they fit onto the sheet and it's pretty pretty easy. Uh, the magnet is, is quite strong. It's perfect for holding all the dies. I have not lost any dies so far. I've been using this system for a few years now. Once all the dies are on the magnet sheet, I will just slip the entire magnet sheet uh, back into the plastic packaging that the magnet sheet came in. Um, the plastic itself is very good so that's why I'm doing that. Now, oh here I'm showing you I'm just putting the instructions that come with each die set along with the magnet sheet before I actually put it into that plastic envelope. An alternative to reusing the packaging as I have done is to find some polyvinyl envelopes uh, like I did online. I will leave uh, the link to where I found the other ones that I have purchased. So I hope that you found this uh, DIY useful and that it's given you some ideas on how you two can keep and store your dyes safely in your own uh, craft room or in a box or whatever works for you. This is just a system that works for me. I love using the magnetic sheets. I find that my dies are secure in this system and they're easy for me to find when I need to work on. A pro I want to work on a project whether it's for my personal use or it is for my job. Uh, so thank you so very much for watching. I would so appreciate a thumbs up if, and if you like this video, of course, please say so. <laughs> and uh, I would like you to comment. Please share this video if you'd like. And don't forget to check out uh, the discount code I will be providing for you in the description below for this teamy focus tea that I am enjoying drinking lately. And also I will try to embed this video into a blog post on my blog at annmakes.blogspot.com. So 
just in case you don't have the time to get all the information you need from this video, uh, there will be some more information in that blog post. Thank you so much for watching and stay crafty. Bye!